गुड इवनिंग मैम then where we are in previous session did we completed the chapter or else where we are ma'am up ma'am up to multiplication we have done now we completed. today we okay start. very good yes anubhav division part is left over right yes, good yes. in the chapter end okay no no okay i understood i i got it okay ma'am thank you anubhav um, downloads Which is class seven or six? Directly, we will go with the multi division part, children. Like signs, if you are dividing, means you will get plus result. Uh, unlike sign you are dividing means minus result based on that we have few more sums we will discuss those then we can go with the right size sum yes division of integers and today we will complete the chapter children mm -hmm. we have last exercise it is <laughs> yeah the division of integers hope you are able to uh, Understood, children. Boys is getting. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Negative integer divided by negative integer. What we will get, children? Ma'am, positive integer. Very good. And positive integer divided by positive integer. Ma'am, positive integer. Positive. Positive. And uh, these are like signs. Like signs means positive, positive, positive. And now coming to the any one of the negative, any one, either numerator or denominator, you will get. I'm negative. Negative, ma'am. Negative. Very good. And the same way, positive divided by negative I'm is negative. also negative. Negative. Very good, Nana. These are unlike signs. Unlike signs, negative. That's all. Oh, this is the base point, children. This is our uh, basic uh, to do the sums. Once base point is uh, thorough with you, we, we can we can move to the next. Yeah. Let me go with our exercise part now. Everyone, uh, you people, both of you, share the questions and you can do it, children. Uh, for first, can we start with uh, Varshit? Varshit, yes. are you able to see? Yeah, okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, come on, first bit, uh, first two bits you can. First to two, ma'am. Yeah. Evaluate each of the following. Minus 30 divided by 10. Mm -hmm. Ma'am is equals to 3, ma'am. Minus 3. Very good. The second bit, Nana. Ma'am, B, uh, 50 divided by minus 10. Ma'am, hmm. minus 10. Minus 10. Very good. Now, question goes to Anubhav. C and D? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, C number, ma'am, positive 4. Very good. Positive 4. Very good. D ma bit? Ma'am, D bit, it will be uh, negative 1, ma'am. Negative one, very good, very good. Coming to E bit, E bit is a little uh, different one. You see, children, yes, there is uh, before going to solve, you should simplify the denominator. Denominator is an addition part is left. Up. What yes, is uh, uh, yeah, here, uh, yeah, Varshit, uh, can you answer what is the sum of negative two and one? Ma'am, it's negative one, ma it's negative one. So 13 divided by negative one is. Negative 13, ma'am. Very good. Very good. Coming to Anubhav. Anubhav. 
F1 it's ma'am. Yes ma'am. Uh, 0 divided by negative 12. Ma'am 0 only. Any number, 0 divided by any number is 0 children. Now, yes, uh, next coming to the G bit. Denominator, Anubhav, what is Anubhav? What is the denominator part in G bit? Ma'am, 1. Denominator, denominator is uh, sum of negative 30 and minus 1. Ma'am, 31. Which sign? 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 Minus 31. No, negative 31. Ah, then negative 31 divided by negative 31 is? No. Positive 1. Positive 1. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, H bit is reverse children. They gave numerator part and uh, uh, first you should simplify. Uh, no, no. First you should simplify brackets. Then you have to do further division. What is negative 36 by 12? Ma'am, you should do I answer or I No, bracket should be solved first. Now, no, bracket, what you yes, have in brackets? Negative yes, 36 by 12. Yes, ma'am. But is it my chance or his chance, ma'am? What was it? Was it? Is it my chance or his chance, ma'am? Okay, okay, okay. You can you can answer, was it? Then we'll go with uh, Anubhav last bit. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, 36 divided by 12 is equals minus 36 divided by 12 is ma'am hmm. minus 3. Ma'am, minus 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1 ma'am minus 1. Very good, Nana. That's all. Go with I bit Anubhav. Please explain Anubhav. Anubhav. Yes, I bit I for. Yes, ma'am. Ma minus 3 by 12. Plus uh, 5, it will be minus 1. And oh. then divided by minus 2 plus 1, it is also negative 1. So, very good. And negative 1 divided by ne negative 1, it will be positive 1. Very good, Nana. Very good. Yes, Varshit, is it correct, Anubhav? Yes, ma'am. Good, good. Now, coming to the verify, verification. Verify, I said many times, Nana. Verification. You have to see the property. By looking the property only, you can say. Here, A divided by B plus C. What property it is? I think distributive property. We have only multiplication over addition and multiplication over subtraction is true. Remaining all cases are not true. Yes? Uh, we'll do second bit later. Now, uh, the turn once again go to Varshit. Varshit, uh, third bit A1. Uh, Ma'am, 369 divided by dash is equal to 369. 369 divided by 1. Positive. Very good. B bit. B bit. Uh, Anubhav? Yes, ma'am. Minus 75 divided by dash equal to minus 1. Ma'am, minus 75 divided by minus 1. No, ma'am. Ma'am, positive 1. Very mm, positive 1. No, no, yes, ma'am. Positive 1. Think better. Think and give once again correct answer. Okay, positive. Denominator is positive. What number? Ma'am, 75. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Can you please repeat the complete question? Ma'am, minus 75 divided by positive 75 equals to minus 1. Very good. Now, see it goes to worship. Ma'am, minus... Uh... 206 divided by dash is equal to minus 1. Minus 206 divided by my 2. Minus 206 is equal to 1. Number. Very good, Nana. Same number divided by same number only. You will get minus plus 1. Very good. Now go to uh, Anubhav. Ma'am, negative 87 divided by dash equal to 87. Ma'am, negative 87 divided by minus 1. Ma equal to very 87. good, very good. Negative by negative only positive result. So 87 as it is, you have so you have to divide with minus one. Now go to E bit with uh, whom I think it is with no, Varshit. Yeah. Dash divided by one is equals to minus 87. 80 minus 87 divided by one is equals to minus 87. Very good. F bit Anubhav. Yes, ma'am. Dash divided by 48 equals to minus 1. Ma'am, uh, it will be minus uh, minus 48 divided by 48 equals to minus 1. Excellent. Good, good. Varshit, go with Z. Ma'am, 
ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय डैश इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू मैम ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस टेन इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू मैम वेरी गुड एक्सेलेंट गुड गुड नेक्स्ट जहेज बिट फॉर अनुभव मैम डैश डिवाइडेड बाय फोर इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री मैम माइनस ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाय फोर इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री Excellent, excellent. Very good, Nana. That's about your third bit. Second bit verification part. We will do. We'll wait, children. Wait. Don't worry. Now write five pairs of integers a, b such that a divided by b is minus three. One pair is six and minus two because six divided by minus two is minus three. You need to make five pairs. Can you text me what are the five pairs, please? Yeah, please. Both of you, please text me five pairs. Who will give first? You have to make such a five pairs. A divided by should b should be equal to minus three. Any five pairs you have to make your own pairs. Think and make. मैम मैं सेंट में मॉल से वो के ना नवर्षित आई एम चेकिंग वन मिनट मैम ना ना वर्षित मैम माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन आई थे वन माइनस वन बाय थ्री का तो ना ना बिग नंबर डेनामिनेटर लोग उनके डेनामिनेटर लोग का तो बिग नंबर होते हैं Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. I just I did wrong. The doctor checked it, na na. And the fourth, third bit to go to show do. Second yes, and fourth one correct. First to okay, third one denominator you are given big number, so it's not true. Okay. What about Anubhav is giving answer not it? Anubhav, are you there? Ma'am sent, ma'am. Ma'am sent. Okay, okay. Very good. First one is correct. Second one is correct. Third one is correct. Fourth one is correct. Fifth one. Very good. Anu Bhav. Good. Good. Ashit, think about uh, uh, second, first, and fourth. Na na. Okay. Denominator should be greater means that you have to get uh, fractions, not. Uh, yeah. Can we move to the next bit, uh, children? Yes, ma'am. We'll finish up today the chapter, and we are going with a small quiz. That's all today. I'm not going to start new chapter. Next class, we can go with new chapter. Uh, who will read the question? Anubhav, can you read, Nana? Question number five. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, here it is written the temperature at twelve noon was ten degrees Celsius above zero. If it decreases at the rate of two degrees Celsius per hour until midnight, at hmm. what Time would the temperature be eight degrees Celsius below zero? 
what would hmm. be the temperature at midnight? Uh, no, no, you see here, the temperature at 12 noon was given 10 degrees Celsius above zero. That means plus 10 degrees Celsius. If it decreases at the rate of 2 degrees per hour until midnight, until midnight, uh, uh, noon to midnight, uh, how many hours? Noon to midnight, uh, how many hours? Um, 12 hours. 12 hours. So if it is decreased 2 degrees per hour, means 2 into 12 into 2. 12 to sir? Ma'am, 24. For minus, decreasing means minus. So, initially 10 degrees Celsius minus 24 means what is the answer? The Ma temperature at midnight is? The temperature at midnight is? Ma minus 14 degrees Celsius. Excellent, excellent. At what time would temperature be 8 degrees Celsius below zero? That means negative 8. Yes, ma'am. At what time? Temperature be negative 8. If 14 degrees 12 means 11 o'clock, uh, 12 degrees. Uh, 10 o'clock, uh, uh, 10 degrees. Uh, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, minus 8 degrees. So, so at 9 p.m. the temperature was? Minus 8, 8 degrees. Below, 8 degrees below zero. Uh, Varshit, did you understood the question or else can I help through God? Ma'am, I understood it, ma'am. Huh. What is just, I'll give a small clue. Orally, we discussed, but a small, small clue we are going. Okay, ma'am. We gave 12 degrees uh, temperature at room was about 10 degrees Celsius. Starting, what is the temperature, room temperature, children? Ma'am, 10 degrees Celsius. Ah, about 10, 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, decrease every hour. Decrease temperature. Temperature decrease in every hour. No, temperature no. decrease. Is every hour is how much? Uh, two degrees no. Celsius. That means decrease minus. So this no. is uh, temperature at uh, twelve noon. Twelve noon. At midnight. Twelve noon, not at twelve noon. Uh, at midnight, twelve. Midnight 12. What is the temperature at midnight 12? Uh, minus 24 degrees Celsius. Uh, 12, initially 10 degrees Celsius. And it happens at uh, 2 degrees decrease. Uh, means minus 2 into 12 hours. So 10 degrees Celsius minus 24 degrees Celsius, which is minus 14 degrees Celsius. So... At 12 noon, it's 14 degrees. 12 midnight. 12 midnight minus 14 degrees Celsius. So 11 mid 11 p.m. means 11 p.m. Mm. Decreasing, mm. right? Mm. No two degrees. Mm. Uh, 12 p.m. Sorry, not 10 p.m. Mm. Minus um, 10 degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. 9 p.m. means? Mm. Minus 8 degrees Celsius. Minus 8 degree. That's why minus 8, we can write it as below, below 0. 8 degree Celsius below 0. Yes, ma'am. So we can, uh, that's the 9 p.m. temperature was uh, minus 8 degree Celsius. You can write conclusion statement. Uh, now, Varshit, please go to the question number 6, Varshit. Yes, ma'am. In a class test, Plus three marks are given for every correct answer and minus two marks are given for every incorrect answer. Mm -hmm. And no marks are for not attempting any question. Ra uh, first, Radha scored 20 marks. If she had got 12 correct answers, how many questions has she attempted incorrectly? Uh -huh. Very good. Let's see. In class test, uh, for correct answer, how many marks? Now, the same type we did in multiplication also. Yes. See, for correct mark, for a correct marks, three test, three marks are given for correct. Two marks are given for wrong. No marks given for not attempting. Radha scored 20 marks. If she got 12 correct, first what is given, you have to write children. That's more important. Given is? Okay. For correct answer. Huh. Okay. Given what is given in the question? Ma'am, correct answers plus three, ma'am. So correct answer. Correct answer. 
Very good. For correct answer, plus three. For, incorrect, for incorrect. For incorrect answers, minus two marks. Minus two marks. Okay. Uh, what about Radha or Radhika? Someone who is that? Radha, ma'am. Radha's course is how much? Ma'am, 20 marks. 20 marks. She did how many correct? Ma'am, 12. 12 correct. So you find, you should find out how many incorrect. 12 correct answer. How many incorrect? How many attempted incorrect? Oh, yeah. Okay. 12 correct means 12 into 3. We don't know x incorrect. Uh, incorrect to minus 2. Together, she's 20. Now 20 is at 36. Minus 2x is equal to 20. If you transpose uh, minus 2x as it is, you keep this 20 minus 36 other side. So minus 2x is equal to minus 16. So minus minus get cancelled on both sides. X is equal to 16 by 2, which is 8. 8 questions, so she has scored uh, incorrect. 8 questions, incorrect. Hope you understood, ma. Yes, ma'am, understood. Mm. Yes, coming to the next part. Well, that's Mohini scores minus 5 marks in the test. Though she got 7 correct answers. So what is the scores of Mohini? Mohini scored only minus 5. Negative 5 marks so she scored. Mohini, about this is Radha. This is Radha. This is Mohini. Mohini, what happened? She scored uh, minus 5 marks uh, total. Even though she corrected uh, 7 correct. 7 into 3. And we don't know incorrect take as x and minus 2 for incorrect. 7 3s are 21. Minus 2x is equal to minus 5. Minus 2x is equal to minus 5 and minus 21. Minus 2x is minus 26. Uh, minus uh, x is minus 26 by minus 2, which is uh, 13. 13 incorrect, 7 correct, so that she will get negative marks as 5, minus 5. Okay. Yes? Yes, ma'am, understood. Incorrect. Now, this is, uh, yes, Anubhav, I hope you understood, Anubhav, this calculation. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Any doubt, Varshit? No, ma'am, no doubt. Simplification, any doubt, transposition method here to there, there to here? No, ma'am, no doubt in this. No doubt. Very good, Nana. Now, last question for Anubhav. Anubhav, please. Elevator question, please. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, an elevator descends into a mine shaft at the rate of six minute. Six meter per minute. If the descent starts from ten meter above the ground level, how long will it take to reach minus three hundred fifty meter? Very good question, Nana. Actually, this is a beautiful question. An elevator descends. Descends means it is going down into mine shaft at the rate of six minutes, uh, six meters per minute. In one minute, six meters going down. It descends starts at about ten meters ground. And how long it takes to reach minus 350 meters? Wonderful question, actually. I'll go, go with the diagrammatically. I'll help you. The elevator is 10 meters above the ground. It's a very important question to children. This is, if you say this is a ground, the elevator is above 10 meters. Here, the position of elevator is here right now. What happened for every hour? What happened? It descend for every minute. It descends six minutes, six meters per minute. Yes, same thing only, right? Let me check once. It is uh, six meters per minute. So at what time it descends minus 350? So to reach somewhere to reach minus 350, minus 350, how much time it takes. So you can write, ma, how you can write, uh, how you can write. How you can write the equation, please think and let me know. 
to reach negative 350, that means the distance covered is negative 350. Uh, we don't know. One minute, six meters it is traveling. 10 plus 6 into what number? No, here 6, 6, 2, 12. This 10 meters, if you transpose to other side, it becomes 6 into what number makes you minus 360. So question mark, if you want to find out minus 360 by 666. It takes 60 minutes to reach 350 meters, student. That means one hour. It's no, one, one hour. hour. 60 minutes. Yeah, one hour. How you will, did you understood this? Yes, ma'am. Because the total distance you see here 10 meters, here from here to here 250 meters. Total distance is 350 plus 10, which is 360. 360 meter. But in one hour, sorry, in one minute, in one minute, how much distance it is traveling? Six meters. Six meters. So how much time it is taken? Time taken is. Uh, Distance by time, distance by uh, 360 divided by 60, which is, uh, sorry, 360 divided by 6, which is uh, 60 minutes. 60 minutes is one hour. We should take absolute value, children, in between distance. If you are calculating, we are taking only absolute value. That's about your chapter, children. Now I have a question. Ma'am, we need to verify it, ma'am. Verify that. Sorry. Anubha, Anubha, what's your doubt, ma'am? Ma'am, please open the question part. Ma'am, seven question. Uh -huh. Yes, Nana. Ma'am, uh, what is the meaning of this line? If the, um, ma'am, in the question number seven, if the uh -huh. descent starts from 10 meter above the ground level, ma'am, means... Uh, elevator descends into mine shaft at a rate of 6 meters. Uh, descent starts from 10 meters above the ground. That means, uh, if you see an above, Yes, ma'am. If you see, uh, suppose uh, you know what is elevator means, it's like a lift beta. It's like a lift. Okay, so, lift is right now above the uh, 10 meters. So, this is a uh, position ground level. This is above sea level. What is uh, this? Is 10 meters above here? This is uh, this is the position of lift, position of elevator. Waiter. Now, what happened? They're asking the question to from that place to below the ground 350 meters. Why? Because uh, Below the ground, they are measuring as a uh, distance as negative. To reach here to from this position to this position, how much time it requires? They gave condition okay. also. In one minute, uh, one minute, how much distance it is going? Um, six six meters. Meter. Uh, that's why total distance is what here? From here to here, total distance is? Here 10, this is 350 yes, total together. Ma'am, 360 meters divided by 6 meters. So you are going to yes, get 60 minutes, which okay. is equal to one hour. Understood, okay. Nana? Yes, ma'am. Elevator is nothing but it's like a lift. Lift means uh, it's like a uh, uh, lift. Okay, ma'am. Uh, there is a last question. Uh, we left their verification part. Of course, it is not true. Why you can say it's not true? By looking only, I'm telling. Why it's not true? Second bit, why it is not true? 
Anyone, Varshita or Anubhav, anyone from both of you, please? Why it is not true? Yes, why it is not true? Children, are you able to listen? Because yes, distributive property holds good for? Only multi uh, that um, multiplication over addition or multiplication over? Subtraction. That's all. This means by, you can write directly also, but they're asking to verify means you have to uh, first uh, do left part, write for to simplify and try it, children. Try to do it. Can you do and give the answer? As a homework yes. bit, can you take second one as a homework, children? Do it. Uh, that's all for the day, children. Uh, uh, we will start in next class uh, another new chapter, which is fractions and decimals. And uh, today, please, uh, uh, any one of you, please read all the points what we discussed in this class, please. Points we have discussed. Who will read? Who will read? Varshita Ranabhav. Ma'am, can I? Yeah, please continue. Start doing version. Integers are a bigger collection of numbers which is formed by whole numbers and their negatives. These were introdu introduced in class 6. You have studied in the earlier classes about the representation of integers on the number line and the addition and subtraction. We now study the properties satisfied by addition and multiplication. Integers are closed for addition and subtraction both. Uh, that is A plus B and A minus B are again integers. When A and B are any integer. Very integers. good, very good. B bit, B bit also, Varshin. Adding is commutative property addition com addition is commutative for integers uh, addition is commutative for integers example hmm. a plus b is equals to b plus a for all yeah, that's why we are telling well, that's why commutative property means order changes we can add in any order we can multiply in any order right right continue no, no. a plus b is equals to b plus a for all integers a and b addition is associative for integers example a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c for all integers a b and c integer zero is the identity under addition that mm. is a plus zero is equals to zero plus a is equals to a for every hmm. integer a. Very Please. good. Very good. Ma'am, can wait, I read wait, now? Varshit. Wait, wait, Varshit. We'll go with uh, Anubhav, these other points. Anubhav? Yes, ma'am. Come on, Nana. Please, rest of the points conclude. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, Varshit, listen carefully whether he is doing. Okay. Ma'am, we studied how integers could be multiplied and found that product of a positive and a negative integer is a negative integer, whereas the product of two negative integers is a positive integer. For example, minus 2 into 7 equals to minus 14 and uh, minus 3 into minus 8 equals to positive 24. Then product of even number of negative integers is positive, whereas the product of odd number of negative integers is negative. Integers show some properties under multiplication. Inti uh, first point, integers are closed under multiplication. That is, A into B is an integer for any two integers A and B. Second point, uh, multiplication is commutative for integers. That is, A into B equals to B into A for any integers A and B. Uh, third point, C1. The integer 1 is the identity under multiplication. For example, 1 into A equals to A into 1 equals to A for any integer A. Yeah, very good. We can go with the debit also, then we will go with Anubha. Yes, ma'am. Ma multiplication is associative for integers. For example, A into B into C. In 
equals to a into b into c for any three integers a b and c under addition and multiplication integers show a property called distributive property that is a into bracket uh, open b plus c bracket close equals to a into b plus a into c for any three integers a b and c Varshit, please, 8, 9, 10 points. Okay, ma'am. The properties of commutative, associative, under addition, and multiplication and the distributive property help us to make our calculation easier. We also, mm -hmm. ninth point, we also learn how to divide integers. We found the... Mm -hmm. When a positive integer is divided by a negative integer, the quotient obtained is a negative integer and base where what is this ma'am V I C E. Yeah, come on. V I C E. Yeah. What is this ma'am? Yes. For any integer A divided by zero is not divided. Uh, a divided by one is A. That's all about uh, uh, your chapter children, these are the basic points you need to be remember. Whenever uh, in sleep, also if I'm asking, this point should be thorough. Uh, that's your first chapter. Competency based questions are somewhere it is posted in Drive Children. I will see and I will uh, help you. Then solving, uh, we'll go with the next class. So that's chapter number two. What is the chapter number two, children? Ma'am, fractions and decimals. Uh, yes, yes, children. Uh, that's all for the day, children. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye, Nana. Bye. Bye, Nana. Bye, Varshi.